Hey guys, it's Nana and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing one of these, I'm not really gonna cut because I'm kind of lazy kind of videos, which I am talking about the voiceover. I really don't feel like editing it, so I'm hoping I'm not gonna stay, stay, say too much bullshit that's gonna get me flagged or make me cringe quite a lot. Hey, how are you doing? Okay, so I haven't uploaded in a while. I always, always flipping say this. This is like such an old story. It's such an old song. But it's true. And there's always another reason for it. There's always a new reason. And it's tiring. Even for me. For, you know, the person doing it. It's kind of tiring. Ever since this Article 13 business has been spoken of. I have been starting to feel like no matter how much effort I put into my YouTube channel, the odds of it actually existing once this law happens is really slim. And at that moment, I was also thinking, well, it could just be over any time, right? It's, it, especially with YouTube messing up a lot. Not saying it's related, but YouTube has been messing up a lot as well. and. It's been, you know, copywriting a lot of things and flagging a lot of things and you can't even have a baby, I think, in the thumbnail or something because that's child porn and then you can't have any nudity so, like, thumbnails get flagged for no reason. And I think if you just say the word fuck, which I just did and I'm hoping it's, you know, gonna spare me this time. <laughs> if you curse or say anything that remotely sounds bad and YouTube's filter system, I don't know how that works, can catch it. No, you, you, you fucked. You really are. So for me, especially since my channel is not really growing that fast and I don't really care about the numbers, but it's kind of, I want to say disappointing. It's a little, it's not really motivating. You know, when things don't really go up, they just kind of seem to be the same. And I know that's probably also my my own fault for not consistently uploading and having quality content but that also has a lot of reasons and i know you don't click on my channel to hear all this bullshit and i probably should really make a flipping video about this but you know what it really doesn't care it really doesn't matter and for those who actually watch these videos they will know what's going on because you're watching this video because you watch my channel right you're not just clicking on this video because you're like whoa well, mm -mm. it's i feel like just naturally explain these things throughout my videos. It's much more natural than actually making a video with like a clickbait title. The reason why I don't upload, I don't, I don't, I don't really see the need of that actually. I mean, I, I guess I could do it. Maybe I'll change my mind someday. <laughs> it's just, I, I it, just, it just makes no sense to me. It's such a waste of time to make a video explaining why I'm gone when pretty much every time I come back from some sort of break, I always explain why. So. That's, that this is like such a long way to say that I'm back, I guess, again, maybe. And then YouTube is, oh, right, I was talking about YouTube, it's not even, mm, my mind is like, mm. <laughs> So, YouTube has been messing up a lot, like a lot, a lot. And with this Article 13 business, I have been starting to feel really unsure about my channel and it's one of the reasons that I don't upload as much. It just gives me this great sense of feeling, this great sense of almost like it doesn't have a purpose anymore. I love to play sims and I like to talk, it's very therapeutic, I always say that. Um, at least to myself, I say that, I don't know if I told you guys that. It's just very th therapeutic to talk to yourself and to play Sims and then get lost in your own fantasy world when your actual real life probably sucks, at least in my case. And um, I forgot where this story was going. I'm literally all over the place, but with this article 13, I don't see the future of my channel really going far. I I have to admit that it went from thinking that it would be over anytime soon. I have gone to thinking it's going to probably take like a year or two. W from what I read, it's probably going to take a year or two to really fully get in action. And if they really do vote for this law and it's really going to be a shit as predicted, then I don't think my channel is going to exist anymore. And as much as I love playing Sims, I feel like it's harder to take a step back 
when you're forced to take one. And I'm almost thinking that it's better that I don't upload as much because I will regret it. Not regret it, but I will feel I will feel it worse when my channel actually gets blocked or deleted. Because we don't know what Article 13 does. It's like something with copyright. And I don't own The Sims. And I don't have copyright laws over The Sims. And pretty much everything that I can't claim as my own is gonna be flagged. And that's for most of Europe. You know, Americans can do what they want. Asians can do what they want. I'm sure there's other countries as well. Like multiple other countries and multiple other, you know, groups of peoples. But Europeans, we're gonna fuck. And I'm sure that big channels, they did say that bigger channels probably will have less of... I mean, they're probably still doomed, but maybe less because they have a lot of audience and perhaps in that way it's cancelled out. I don't really know how it works. But if for smaller channels like mine, I don't think I'm kind of fucked. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't see the future of this channel going very well. And on top of that, my life has just not been going the greatest. And I've, I've just not been in a good place at all. Just, just not. I start to feel like a lot of things just don't matter. And a lot of things are just without a cause. I think about playing Sims and then I have fun. But then I'm like, what's the point? I can make a fake family, play with the fake family, have storylines... But what is the point? It's not going to get me anywhere in life. But sometimes I even think, well, what's the point in working out? What's the point in eating healthy? What's the point in doing a lot of things when nothing really matters? And that really gives me a sense of, I have really have no purpose. <laughs> I just exist and love this shit. Pretty much. And I'm going to therapy. I've been going to therapy for like two years, but I feel like the last few months has been hitting me a lot again. And I just feel without a sense of purpose. And this is probably one of the most reasons, the one of the one of the biggest reason that I don't upload as much because I want to. But then actually physically making yourself upload, it's pretty hard, especially when you feel like it has no point. You know. There's days when everything feels like it has a purpose and you're doing it because you're enjoying it and you're having fun, la 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 la. But most of the time I open YouTube and I I'm like I'm never going to get a million subscribers or 100,000 or 10,000, you know? I'm always going to be stuck around this number. And if I ever get to a bigger number, probably this article will destroy it. So what, what point is there really? You know, I'm not saying YouTube is like my life, but I don't have much of a life. Like, I don't have much to do because of a lot of reasons. And YouTube kind of became that outlet for me. And I'm not really sure what to do with myself if I don't have YouTube. But I'm already abandoning YouTube a little bit because of that lately. And because I just feel like it's a waste of my time, even though I waste every time I have. And I feel like everything has to, doesn't have a purpose. But I don't know. I Sometimes it's really... Okay at least for me, when you have a mental disorder, I'm not saying like I'm loco loco, you know? Did I say loco loco? I think I meant loco loco. I'm not loco, you know? I'm not cray cray. My, I mean, maybe a little bit, but aren't we all? I'm not that crazy. I just have personal issues like we all have, and they're just on a bigger scale. They're more on a, if I do this, my brain tells me otherwise kind of skill. So for me, it's really hard to have a positive, con continuous positive outlook on YouTube and on my channel. But with all this pressure of articles and YouTube and, and not growing and my self-esteem, my grass and me feeling shit and life being shit and not having a purpose, it's been really hard. It's been really hard to upload. And I told myself that if this article really is going to happen, I'm just going to do my best for the last years and enjoy what I'm doing. And I enjoy it anyway, but you know what I mean? I'm just going to make the best of it. But at the same time, like, I just feel so without a purpose right now that it's just unfucking real It's just so unreal. Uh, anyway, that's uh, my two cents. This is such a random bullshit video, really, where I just have to... I don't know. I don't even know what the title. This is going to be, like, uh, fuck life. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's all for this video. And, um, yeah. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.